Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm going to show you how to cast your mobile screen to your Microsoft Teams room using the new casting app. All right, first things first, the prerequisites. You'll need to have Bluetooth enabled on your mobile phone, but also in your Microsoft Teams room. You'll need to have the latest Teams app on your mobile phone. It is supported on iOS and on Android. To make sure you've got Bluetooth enabled on your phone, I'm not going to show you how to do that. I'm just I'll assume you know how to do that. But on your Microsoft Teams room, you need to make sure that's enabled there. So go into More and Settings and go ahead and sign in. Now go down to Devices and make sure that Bluetooth is enabled there. If it's not enabled, go ahead and enable it. It may or may not ask for a reboot or whatever, but that's just you just need to make sure that that's enabled. If it's not enabled, the casting app isn't going to be able to find the room. So it uses the same Bluetooth beaconing technology as the meet and join using a room type of stuff. The other thing you can enable is automatically accept proximity-based meeting invitations. I'll leave that up to you whether you want it. If you have that box selected, it means that you don't have to do anything on the MTR. It will automatically accept these proximity-based invitations and it will automatically join. If you don't have that selected, you'll have to press accept on the in-room console on your Microsoft Teams room. Right, so I'm just going to exit without saving. Right, so to cast, obviously you've got your Teams app here. What you need to do is go down to more down here and open the kind of app tray, if you like. Now you can see I've got the casting app there. I'm just going to press cast. So what it's going to do is send out a Bluetooth signal to try and find nearby rooms. Yes, I do have those rooms nearby, but as you can see, the one I need is Dagobah. It's just there, just there. I'm just going to press Dagobah. And because I'm using a screen casting technology to show you my screen, I'm just going to use the PowerPoint because I know that works. So I'm just going to project a PowerPoint. What it's going to do is try and find some recent PowerPoints you've worked on. Obviously, if you don't have any recently used, you can browse through Teams channels, OneDrive, etc. I'm just going to use the top one just to show you for demonstration purposes. Now it's going to go and load that into the actual session. And what it's doing is sending a signal up to Microsoft Teams. Teams is saying, yeah, okay, I know um, what room you're talking about. And then it sends a casting signal down to the actual Teams room to start basically a meet now on the Teams room itself. But you can see it automatically accepted that because I had that box checked. Um, this is the touch console on the left and on the right is the in-room display. And it's just showing you the same PowerPoint that I've got on my mobile phone. So obviously I can advance through the slides. I'm not gonna show you any more slides. It's really just for demonstration purposes. And that's it. You could obviously, you know, if you wanted to go ahead and change the layout, you can invite more people, you can do whatever you want while you're in this, this meeting. All you're using your phone for is to share something into the room. So I'm, you know, obviously using a PowerPoint slide, but you could obviously cast your mobile. It could be your picture gallery. It could be a video. It could be whatever you want, but it just means you've got that extra option to be able to cast directly from your phone into the Microsoft Teams room. Very slick, I think you'll agree. Nice and quick to find the nearby rooms. Nice and quick to bring up the recent PowerPoint slides. And after a couple of seconds, it appears on the device itself. And that's it for now. Just a really quick video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.